Hi everyone, welcome back to All For Art. I'm Hafsa, and today we're gonna be talking about One Point Perspective. Um, side note, I'm holding my phone like this because my elaborate contraption that I use to prop up my phone, which is about 25 bucks stacked on top of each other, uh, fell down right before recording. And I was like, we're not about to do this again. So anyways, let's get into it. <laughs> Guys, I made a janky little stand for my phone on the keyboard piano that no one in my family has touched for years. Look at me go. Anyways, one point perspective, super important. Um, let's talk about it. <laughs> it's part of linear perspective. It's one type of linear perspective. So linear perspective is essentially like a system, a mathematical system for understanding things in space um in their relative sizes and positions um relative to the viewer's eyes so basically we know that when something recedes into the distance it gets smaller right so linear perspective gives us a way to figure out how small it gets um you know if we're putting an object here and you know we're viewing from here what position is that object going to be in so Basically, it's super useful for realism, and it's super important. It's like a building block of art. Um, so one, pipe, one type of linear perspective is one point. Um, there's two point, three point, four point, whatever. But yeah, today we're talking about one point. So one point is basically dealing with one vanishing point on the horizon. So it's like, have you ever seen a road, like a, a picture or just a road in general, and it's like, going forward and then it like recedes off into the distance like kind of like a triangle it's really wide when it's near you and then it gets thin as you taper off towards the edge so that's basically what one point perspective is so where that road is getting really small near the horizon line that's like your vanishing point and <coughs> oh my god excuse me everything else in that uh scene is um also going to be vanishing towards the point where the road is vanishing so like if you have any trees and you draw a line with the trees it's also going to be a line okay anyways that's kind of confusing but i'll show you guys pictures um when i talk about the history of it so yeah history of linear perspective basically um we saw types like attempts at perspective um in the past so before it was invented like actual linear perspective was invented and codified um people tried to do perspective but they didn't quite understand the concept that if you're talking about perspective you're going to have vanishing points and things need to converge at vanishing points so um when it was actually invented in 1415 for, yeah 1415 by um this guy filippo brusque Kelly, I want to say. I might have said that wrong. But anyways, he uh, mathematically devised it. Um, and the first painting to ever use it, um, you know, fully was this one. So this painting, um, you can see with the lines, everything is converging uh, into one point. Um, and that's why when you look at it, you're like, yeah like this looks real like the perspective adds up right because when the perspective is off intuitively we can usually tell so you can look at this painting from uh before uh, linear perspective was invented and see how the lines don't converge at the same place so that kind of warps the room for us this painting is called the last supper by the way um so yeah, basically linear perspective, uh, super important. One point perspective is when there's one vanishing point. So we saw that with the painting I showed you guys earlier. And yeah, today I'm just gonna teach you guys how to draw it and how to use it in your works. Um, yeah, I'm excited to start, let's go. Okay, so when you're drawing one point perspective, we're going to start with a horizon line. So let's just put it up here. Okay, here's my nice straight line that I have as my horizon. Okay, there's so many lines going on. Here we go. 
Okay, so then I'm going to choose one vanishing point. So everything is just going to vanish here. I'm going to make a nice dot. That's my vanishing point. So what I was talking about earlier with the road is like, if you've ever seen something and it's again a road vanishing into the distance, see the road is going to converge at one point. It's going to kind of look like this. You know, and then, then let's say you have like multiple roads converging. Let's say we have like this curvy road, okay? Still gonna converge here. And then, okay, I'm gonna make this look more like a road. We'll just put like those little. And then, see, look, everything, okay, let's just say, like, all these roads are all meeting at this one spot. And see, like, this is getting bigger as we get closer to us. But basically, everything, like, look, it starts big, because this is, actually, this needs to be bigger. It's not good perspective. Anyways, so everything is kind of meeting at this point, and I couldn't put these to make it look more like roads. But whatever, I digress. Um, that's mostly what I was talking about with the road so it's vanishing and if you have anything else it still should be vanishing to this point on the horizon um so yeah that's basically it with that example but i'm gonna teach you guys how to actually draw in one point perspective so um you know in elementary school classes you might have learned one point perspective i definitely did but it's pretty simple so we're just gonna start out with the shape We'll use the same vanishing point as before. Just gonna draw myself a nice little square. And then what I wanna do is every corner, I want to connect it to this point. So you can use a ruler if you want. I'm just gonna freehand it. And this, okay, so I can connect this point if I want. Um, but really, like this, since we're going right through the shape, we won't see this corner, so it's not really important. Um, because again, you just wouldn't see it. So yeah, basically just ignore that corner. And then what we're going to do <clears throat> to actually uh, round it off, you know, to make it like a cube, is we're going to take this line and we're going to draw a line parallel to it um, wherever we want this figure to cut off. So if I want it to be... It's a normal cube. Just put a line here. It's parallel. At least I did my best. And then we're going to put a line here that's also parallel to this. And then erase this away. Now you have a nice little cube in one point perspective. Um, and again, look, it's vanishing towards one point. Okay, let's, we're going to draw over our road. And I'm going to do another one, and we can do it up this time. Like this. Okay, wow. It's definitely an attempt at drawing a shape. <laughs> but we'll work with that. Okay, so same thing. Draw the corners, and connect the corners to the vanishing point. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> okay. And then, here are the corners. Mm. This one is kind of getting curved. I don't like that. There we go. Yup, yup, okay. Now we're gonna do our parallel lines. Maybe I want this one to be a little bit longer. It's gonna be it's like a rectangular prism, right? Okay. No, this actually isn't parallel. Let's slant it up a little bit. Okay, good enough. You guys get the point. So yeah, there you go. That is in one point perspective. We have our little cube. Alright, so we can do this with other shapes too, obviously. Um, it's the same concept though. You draw the shape, you connect the corners, and you then cut it off with a line parallel to the original shape. Let's try a triangle. Okay, draw right over... Connect this and this. 
And again, guys, using a ruler makes it look better, but you know what? We don't have time for that. Okay, so this triangle, we're just going to have to connect one and just draw one parallel line because, again, if I connect through here, it's going to go through, straight through the figure. You wouldn't see this. This is, like, in the back, right? Okay, and then I'm going to just cut it off. Line parallel. Erase. And there we go. There's our triangle. Um, let's see, what else can we do? We can do, like, fun shapes, too. Here, my name's Hafsa, so I'm gonna do, like, a little H. See, like, this is a more complicated shape, so... It's a little bit more complicated, but it's all the same idea. Okay, there's my H. So, now, again, connect every single corner that won't go directly through the shape um, to this. So, connect this, and then, wait, this is totally not even. Okay, and then we're going to connect that. Okay, we'll connect this. We'll connect, oh, this should be more that um okay see this one it slightly goes through the shape but the thing is you'll still see some of it like some of it's outside of the shape right that this corner so you kind of you still do it okay we'll do this again same thing with this one like if i draw a line through the shape of course it's going to intersect and hit the shape at some point but we'll still see this area so we want to draw the line anyways I think that's about it. So now we're gonna erase. So I'm gonna erase the lines that are going straight through the shape just so that we're more clear on what we need to um, do next. Okay, so now we're gonna have to put the parallel lines in. So here, I'm gonna cut this here. Okay, line parallel, put that here. Okay, and then here I need to match it up, right? Because it's not going to be like, our line is cut here for this side, but it's not going to be cut down here because that wouldn't make sense. The corners have to match up. So I'm going to cut for this side right here of the parallel line. And then <clears throat> I'm going to do... Um, here with this one and we can we can cut like anywhere we want with these so here I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it and put it here and then put this one here and then here mm, we can cut it if we want but it's kind of short so we don't have to but you know I'll cut it here and then so it's like that so this lines up right because that's important and then here we'll match up the corner for this one and we'll cut it here and then now we'll erase all the extra okay yeah and there we have oh, let's erase up here Get that back in. Okay, and here we have a more complicated shape that we were able to do one point perspective for. So, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty simple concept. Just connect to the vanishing point. Make sure you have a consistent vanishing point. And, yeah, cut it off with parallel lines where you need to. Um, so, yeah, I hope this tutorial was helpful. And if you have any questions, comments, uh, requests let me know in the comments thank you for watching